Hi, my name is Jonathan. I work with Alpine Fire and Safety. This is our hydrostatic testing facility. Uh, today we're going to go through a short video and kind of show you what the process is from start to finish. Uh, visual inspection, hydro test, drying, stamping, and uh, getting ready for um, going out to the customer. So the very first step when a cylinder comes in from a customer, um, if it's an industrial cylinder, is to uh, check make sure that it's empty. We don't want any pressure before we devalve it. If it's uh, tapered thread um, in a steel cylinder, uh, we will use our devalving machine. We insert it after, again, double check and make sure that it's empty. And then we will devalve it. A lot of them require a pretty high torque to valve and devalve. Once that's done, we will uh, go ahead and do our visual inspection and then on to the hydro test. So our, our first process, once we have devalved the uh, cylinder that's come in for hydro test, would be to do our visual inspection. Uh, some cylinders require a visual eddy inspection, which is what we're doing here. Um, we would first calibrate the machine, and then we're going to do the test on the cylinder, as well as doing the regular visual with um, fiber optic light and mirrors to check the shoulder, neck area, and internal of the cylinder. So once we've completed the visual inspection, we will fill the cylinder full of water and select the appropriately sized fittings for the hydro test. We will submerse the cylinder in the hydro test jacket. Uh, after we've taken all the information, uh, cylinder owner size, DOT specification, pressures, and serial number, um, entered in all the information in the computer. Um, then we'll put the cylinder in the jacket and do a system check as far as testing for any leaks. Uh, once that's complete, we'll go ahead and do the actual hydro test. And uh, if it passes or fails, then from there we'll pull it out of the cylinder and insert it into our cylinder dryer. So once the cylinder is inserted into the dryer, um, it's pre-programmed for different time values uh, depending on the size of the cylinder. Um, once we have it in and hooked up, we will start the cycle and it will automatically invert, empty the cylinder of the water used for the hydro test, um, pump hot water in it to dry it, and then uh, clean air to steam out any of the moisture. back up and it stays quite warm but from there we would move it over to our site for stamping and putting on any labels required for determining when the hydro test was done. So in this cylinder vise here we will be putting our RIN number, our retester identification number as well as the month and the year. Uh, if it is a steel or aluminum cylinder we can stamp it in with metal stamps right on the shoulder area. Uh, if it's a carbon fiber, as far as like the fire department SCBAs, uh, we put a, a label overcoated with epoxy um, to make a permanent mark on there um, for when the hydro test was performed. At this point, we perform kind of a secondary visual, uh, check for any moisture that might be left in the cylinder. Um, and we've at times have also gone through if we found something in the um, previous visual inspection that was a little suspicious, we might uh, double check just to see that, you know, if there's a crack or something that we thought might be there, um, make sure that it wasn't anything more than, than just that. So um, then we would come back, um, get ready to revalve the cylinder. Um, different uh, manufacturers have different specifications as far as torque and how to reinsert their valves. Uh, this is a Survivor SCBA, which requires a specific torque. So we will insert it hand tight and then torque it down to the required torque pressure. Cylinder is now complete, ready for the customer to pick up.